Must give fame, marinate. We got to toss up, celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. The past for this, but I haven't seen it. You thought it was over. You brag of ignorance. You lack the vision. You sacrilegious. I feel my wrath as you ever been in. My clearly crafted mission with crass intentions. You may have given the credit so you can save now. No. This ain't the end, and you might as well go and lay down. Go. Make way to witness the heights are going to pay down. Whoa. You pray for distance from guys like me, it's too late yeah. now. Preparation beats opportunity, though. No? No, no. Being great as ambiguity, though. No? No, no. Too much to stake for your foolery, is it, though? No, no. Keep on hating this fuel to me, did you know? No. What have I done? What are my motives? What am I thinking? What do you think? What's to be done? Who needs a motive? I won't be defeated. They don't want to see it. Don't want to believe it. But no one will stop to the most uneven. I'm close to achieving my goals. I'm leading. It shows them everything that I believe in. I ain't here to fight, Phil. I got everything to lose. Cheat calls and flatter, but I don't need those. I ain't playing by the rules. I ain't playing with you. Tragedies happen, one for the eating, and no umbrella can shelter the way I storm on your weekend. I'm not interested, I want to form an allegiance. I'm simply captivated on how you mourn my achievements. One screw away from feeling I'm gonna lose it. So who's to blame if I cultivated a moment? Stupid claims, I'm a lunatic and I'm clueless, but you'll rule the day when I'm doing this for amusement. Preparation means opportunity, yes. Being great as ambiguity, yes. Too much at stake for your foolery, this a test. Keep on hating, it's fuel to me, I ain't stressed. You gonna stop me? Well, ain't that so? Ain't nothing gonna block me from the pain I know. You have no other choice but to watch me reap the flames I grow. You probably think that I'm ungodly, but I ain't that low. But I ain't here to fight, Phil. I got everything to lose. Cheat calls, I'm flattered, but I don't need those. I ain't playing by the rules. I ain't playing with you. And my mouth's watering like I stay teething. You can't reason with the animal that's loose in my brain tweaking. You don't really know me. If you think you do get amnesia, got a problem, I'm subtracting you like a mad teacher. I'm that lethal like a threat to a mad preacher. I send you up to Christ if you cross and you act even. Preparation means opportunity, maybe. Being great as ambiguity, baby. Too much is fake for your foolery, ain't it crazy? Keep on hating this fuel to me, you won't face me. You ain't really hard like you imagining, bragging about being toxic, but you ain't really that hazardous rap god. If you don't believe in me, then it's blasphemous. Everything that you are is an acronym to my adjective. But I ain't here to fight, Phil. I got everything to lose. Cheat calls, I'm flattered, but I don't need those. I ain't playing by the rules. I ain't playing with you. This building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Washington Commanders.
Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And a signal there for the fair catch. So this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Yo, yo. Now, first down. Here 
it's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And we see the emphasis early here, get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So this game, Charles, I mean, you know, we talk about potential unknown seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a game long Sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's a call upon the stars to really play well to make it hurt on this team. 11 yards and a cowboy first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From midfield, here's Lance. And it's second down. These two teams you might remember met earlier in the year in Arlington with the Cowboys winning that ball game. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. Second and ten. Next drive, the Washington offense. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start to start from the I can't get into these games sometimes. It's what it is, one of them. Yeah, I don't feel like playing. I feel bad if they get in. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play. Holding them to no gain. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10, right around the Nine yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, they'll and he takes his beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's a bad call. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Going towards the 
He mind that damn kicker Terrence had. That bit kicked the 65. Come up. After the roughing penalty on the PT, yeah. they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's turning out. That bit shit in slow motion, too. You know, throw by ten of them. That shit terrible. Put my ass sleep. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Coming off every player's friend in the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off the loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over a little bit, right? Rest of the mind, rest of the body. Get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Second quarter now for our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it second down and 11. Let's go now. 
They'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I like the play call coming right out of our town call for Ross because this is an obvious passing situation, but instead they fooled him a little bit with the screen. And they wound up getting back what they lost, and then a little bit more. Looking to throw. Throw to the right here, taken in by McCoy. And he'll get this up to the 34 yard line. First catch here by McCoy, and he's got himself a first down. Well, these guys are definitely been out playing the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they're not panicked out there and the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, oh, Kiss that shit, bro. This time a little bit. Jeez. The contact on the ground time there. And now fourth down. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation at a fourth down. Line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Third and three. 
So on fourth down, out is Brandon Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. And this one is right through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. Receiver in motion left. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shot on the half offense a few years ago. This would never get off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they've run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Score 28 to nothing. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee. And they'll take over at the 25. The Washington, Washington offense, offense at the line and ready to roll. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing here. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp, and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Back to throw now on second and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love the blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here now, now, second and nine, nine from the 39-yard line. He'll drop the throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Then he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. This dude is not going to make it easy for you. Their physical group, we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. They'll look to throw here. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Washington going to send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And take it right at the 35. It'll be 37 yards there on the run. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Start on the ground here on first down. And some room to run now. Here he goes, right side. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert, Can they convert it, it and bring it back, it back out, out to start, to start the, third the third quarter? Aubrey now for the point after. after. And he's been a busy man, five for five, 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 five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And here comes. 
Jones to return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? This is kind of probably that empty and pumpkin time where you have to go into your bowl of material and make sure we have some different things. That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line. Off of play action, and here's Lance going up top. All right, rifles one, that's going to be intercepted. And the Commanders are going to have it here in their own 15. The Commanders take over first and 10 at their own 15 yard line. Let's go, Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to part here. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Second and 15. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. So the completion results there in nine yards. And out there down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. He'll look to throw. And he's got him. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And now they're in the hurry up. And now the whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you, That's what they have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the field because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after it. Third down now, those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them, just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Fighting his way through contact, and he'll get this back down about the 12 yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And they fake the handoff, now Lance sliding out of the pocket. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. Now Lance looking to change it up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contest. 
contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set them up a terrific field position with three points the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to drive some points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Washington, the Washington offense, offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, we're and still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look a little respectable. Now, a win, that's probably going out the window, Charles. But I don't know, do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard and trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're almost guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Again, it's three, second down. We're just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. Another, and now here is another interception. Picked off by Marquise Mill. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. <laughs> This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them more than the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> the coach has talked about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, they certainly are lighting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Officially nothing on that one. No gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. He might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. 
They'll set up to throw. Flush down right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. They'll try and throw for it here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Here we go, Set. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Nine yards on the carry there, and that will be the final play of quarter number three. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball on the 28-yard line here, second down to the yard. To throw, it's Lance. Got Dobbs over the middle. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Lance now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. To give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30, so now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Great effort there. That's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Take it at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. At their own 21-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish and it really didn't. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And his guys are going to take over at the 31. Mistake after the interception there. You guys, you look up at the scoreboard. Uh, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 15 there. The Cowboys have a first. Parker, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And he's got his man on the out route. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they can coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. 
Lands with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. From three yards out. And the Cowboys are on their way to a sensational 13 start. I can't get this shit over. Really What's that? Fourth is shit dragon. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. When you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, you have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. for a minute. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Yeah, I'll be chilling for the most part, I think. The return man down to it. Yeah, we got to hoop soon. We got to start hooping soon anyway. Out there, set All right. ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Here's a handoff out of the gun. Dances by at the 20. And running with power here. And they move this all the way down to the 9. And they're going to speed things up here. Shotgun now for Lance. Escaping the pressure right. Toward the pylon caught. Touchdown. Romeo Dobbs. A 9-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on to their lead. So definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Very good day's work. A fourth touchdown pass as they're really pouring it on. Yeah, and so much for going into clock mode after getting that touchdown, right? Because you would think with the lead fourth quarter, they might actually do that. No chance. They've kept attacking and got another touchdown pass as a result. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Washington. A big play there. 75 yards and the commanders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter the extra point up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would have, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for Ready. this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Back to the air on second down. It's Lance. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Throwing now is Lance. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And Charles, they're still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, and a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. Pad the stats when you get an opportunity. It'll certainly help you come contract time. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Lance now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Aubrey good with a PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. 
Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Cowboys will take over possession here up at the 44. Now my goodness, CD, I mean, this defense just continuing to dominate. They're really dominating on both sides of the ball. But for the defense, that's now three interceptions for them here in this ball game. And what a great teaching tape for this defensive coordinator, right? When they go back and review this game, what does he always tell us that he preaches to his team? We're going to lead the league in effort. Well, they're doing that in this game as well as making big plays. Let's go. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. On first and ten, here's Lance. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. And they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are. And let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all. But in today's football, you just go ahead and save it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. At the 14-yard line. Now Lance wants to change him up. Blue check. Check, huh? And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to Damn. see him get a stop. So here's a third and 14. Hey, hey, blue. Ready, ready. Now Lance. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little lead, yeah, a little extra on top. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant 